Hi, this is Brad Constantine, and this is a podcast recording of the Old Testament. Although this is not an official recording of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, every effort's been made to be as doctrinally accurate as possible. I'll be using for the text the Joseph Smith translation of the Old Testament, along with many commentaries from general authorities of the Church, BYU professors, Bible scholars, and others. This format will be very detailed, and so if you want a deep analysis of the Old Testament, you come to the right place. Thanks for your attendance. Hi there. Welcome back. This will be for Hosea chapter 14. The heading reads, In the last days Ephraim shall repent and return unto the Lord. Verse 1, O Israel, return. The Hebrew word for return means repent. Unto the Lord thy God, for thou hast fallen by thine iniquity. God is encouraging repentance and reconciliation. Take with you words, pray, unto the, and turn to the Lord, say unto him, Take away my iniquity, take away all iniquity, and receive us graciously, so will we render the calves of our lips. This verse deals with one's resolve to do better. To present the sincere prayers of one's lips as an offering to the Lord was as precious as the best offerings in the Mosaic Law, which were young oxen or bullocks. So that's what we should be doing as we pray to the Lord to ask for forgiveness. It should be sincere and heartfelt. Verse 3, Asher, or Assyria, shall not save us. We will not ride upon horses, neither will we say any more to the work of our hands. Ye are our gods, for in thee the fatherless findeth mercy. I will heal their backsliding. I will love them freely, for mine anger is turned away from him. In other words, this is a blessed future that will happen. I will be as the dew unto Israel. He shall grow as the lily and cast forth his roots as Lebanon. Lebanon at the time was very lush and beautiful. In the April 1954 National Geographic magazine, they said that four million citrus trees had been planted in Lebanon to fulfill the prophecy of Isaiah 29:17 that Lebanon would be a fruitful field. Verse 6, his branches shall spread, and his beauty shall be as the olive tree, and his smell as Lebanon. Israel shall blossom as the Garden of Eden. Verse 7, they they that dwell under his shadow shall return from death or resurrection. They shall revive as the corn, and grow as the vine. The scent thereof shall be as the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim shall say, what have I to do any more with idols? I have heard him, and observed him. I am like a green fir tree, from me is thy fruit found." Who is wise, and he shall understand these things, prudent, and he shall know them. Or For the ways of the Lord are right, and the just shall walk in them, but the transgressors shall fall therein. Hosea closes his book by saying, Whoever is wise will understand what he has said, but whosoever is foolish will only stumble upon his words. The wicked are not enlightened by the Spirit, so they cannot perceive the meaning of these words and will continue to stumble about in ignorance. So most of Hosea here is about their wickedness and their scattering that will happen, but then how the Lord loves and and, uh, wants them to repent and he'll take them back and that will be a latter-day event. Anyway, that's the end of Hosea and we'll see you next time. Bye.